Hey everybody, we're going to look at one thing tonight, and that is the note repeat function. Now, I don't claim to know everything about logic. I do know quite a bit about it, but I was a little surprised with this because I haven't really dug into some of the per percussion and rhythm stuff that they've added over the past few versions. And so when I saw this in the manual, I immediately... Actually, I saw it on the internet. I immediately went to the manual because I know what note repeat functionalities typically do. And I want to show you what I found. Pretty much nothing. The manual, this version of it sucks. Pretty bad. So what I did to get there, if you want to read more about it, I opened up the quick help you hover over this and then you do command slash and it will take you right to the page. A little bit easier to find this. So, the only way that I've seen to get to this tool is by using the toolbar, which I typically have hidden. Click on it, brings open the note repeat option. Now check this out. Let's open up our keyboard. I'm going to close this little window and it goes away. So it's not something you can turn on and off as much. Unless, of course, you're using the remote. Then you have a power button here. But the whole thing that this does is repeat the note that you're triggering. And we can do all kinds of cool things with it. So, for instance, mod wheel, we can do max and min and go between those two using the mod wheel. We can do velocity as played or use pressure or after touch to adjust the velocity. And we can use something here like pitch bend to adjust the gait or the length. Now, oh my gosh, I love this. This is as MPC as you can possibly get. This comes from uh, the way that you can use the, the percussion, the drum pads, which are pressure sensitive as you're pushing up and down and do different types of velocity with the repeats and you can change the rates. Super awesome tool. Very clearly a ripoff of other ways of doing this. And I can't really show you too much because I don't have my MIDI keyboard connected right now. I'm going to do it another tutorial later where I actually show this hooked up to a full keyboard. But it does a really cool way to get performance going here. Uh, and recording exactly something that you're performing more than just typing in or uh, a step sequencing, etc. And it just has this whole different way of interacting with our percussion. Totally awesome. Okay, that's a brief look. I'm going to save Spot Erase, which is very related to this for a different time. And we'll actually hook up a full keyboard uh, another time and look at how that velocity uh, piece of this and the adjusting the gait and the, the time element of that really works. Okay, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.